first time. Give me a moment. <sighs> so I've had the uh, privilege to um, be introduced to you through my girlfriend, who had been listening to your workshops on YouTube. And uh, I've kind of been on this long journey to understand why I'm here, you know, what my purpose is. You know, I, I got involved with uh, network marketing because I had been used to working regular jobs, and so I figured, you know, that industry would be a great way to get financial freedom. And so I had sifted through a lot of different videos on YouTube from different speakers, motivational speakers like, you know, uh, Les Brown and others, uh, and they talk a lot about action. You know, you gotta do it anyway. You know, you gotta. You know, and, and, and especially in this industry, network marketing, you're, you're coached to, to go and commit a lot of action. But your teachings are nowhere <laughs> in the vicinity of that, which... But consider this. We are not in any way adverse to action because action can be so fun. Action when you're in the flow is exhilarating. Action when there's a lot of resistance is exhausting. So action isn't the question. It's what influence am I under when I receive the inspiration to act? Because if you're acting to fight a dragon or to fight a battle or to overcome adversity, then you're fighting against yourself. You're offering all this action with resistance within you. And then you're tired. But if you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and you get an impulse to go somewhere and you follow that impulse to act, and then you rendezvous with something and you see the benefit of that entirely different experience. So act all you want. Just make sure you're under the influence of source because here's the thing about your inner being. Being. your inner being knows what you want in detail and your inner being knows where you stand in physical beingness as well as vibrational beingness in physical proximity to everything that you want so if you're tuned in and feeling great and following those impulses you'll have all kinds of rendezvous that people watching you will say what kind of miraculous life are you living you get all the breaks and you could tell them I don't get all of them, just all I can handle in a day. It, yes. <laughs> and I'm starting to get into more ease with that idea that, you know, my business can be built based on energy and, and attraction and just relaxing and, and doing things that make me feel good. We're just going to ask you this one question. We want you all to think about this. How do you feel when someone has the philosophy that action is where it's at so if i just throw enough mud against the wall some of it will stick that's kind of what that philosophy is so how do any of you feel if someone comes toward you with a solution that you're not asking for or a problem but you're out of sync with a solution but they've got one so picture someone coming up to you and saying to you hey i've got what you need and trust me, I've got what you need. And it doesn't matter how beautiful they are, or how convincing they are. Think about how that feels when someone tries to assert themselves into your experience as compared to how it feels when you've been thinking about something and you've had the thought, hmm, wouldn't it be nice if I rendezvoused with something that could make a difference? And you find yourself talking to someone who's not after you. You're just mutually having a conversation when you both realize that there's a win-win mutual benefit for both of you there. That's an entirely different thing. It's the difference between calling them to you. Now, think about it. Their vortex is calling them to solutions. And you could very well be the solution that their inner being is calling them to. But unless you're in tune with your inner being, you're not going to receive the inspiration to be there. So you want their inner being to call them to you. You don't want your action to do it because your action is making them go like this. When they're being called naturally and you're there, that's a whole different thing. That sounds like a lot more fun. It's way more fun. It's the way the universe works. Another thing that getting in tune with is this idea of abundance uh, and <sighs> kind of feeling like the last gentleman, like somebody. We want to ask you a question before you go further in this. So the idea of abundance is an idea, idea meaning thought. The feeling of abundance is something even more because the feeling of abundance means that the idea of abundance is really familiar to you. 
when the idea of abundance is really familiar to you so the feeling of abundance is chronic within you now you got this steady thing going on we just want you to pay a little bit of attention over the next few days about how when you think about the subject of abundance whether it feels satisfying or unsatisfying because most people when they talk about the idea of abundance are not satisfied because they don't have the abundance they want so they're working against themselves and not even knowing it but if you if you take money out of the equation and instead of putting money in the equation or abundance in the equation the equation is about satisfaction Esther left yesterday morning she left San Antonio and she drove to the airport and she goes to this park and ride place because they're just lovely people and they handle her bags for her so she pulls up and a really nice person pops her tailgate and takes her bags out and puts them on the shuttle bus then another nice person gives her a ticket and they give her a close one because they know her and she's there always and she asks for that VIP she's willing to pay the extra for it and then she gets on the bus and talks to her friend and they drop her at the airport right where she needs to be dropped at and then the sky cat knows her and he just gives her good words and she gives him good words back and then she walks inside and she's saying out loud I love my life I love my life I love my life I love my life appreciation but satisfaction 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 and that's satisfaction brings lovely co-creation all day long lovely experiences this and 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 this so many reasons to feel satisfaction and as you focus upon it you dovetail with the whole of who you are and the satisfaction of your inner being reverberates through you and your point of attraction becomes mighty the leverage of attraction becomes huge and the resistance that you might have had otherwise is non-existence and then one after another the cooperative components of your desire and you know when you think about win-win a cooperative component for you brings another who is a cooperative component for you but it also brings you who is a cooperative component for them cooperative components cooperate with each other only the universe knows who's vibrating what and more important who's ready to receive what they're asking for that's what we mean when we say your inner being knows where you stand vibrationally and physically in proximity to what you want and if you're tuned in and going with that flow then you're satisfied 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 and having the loveliest of experiences without an ulterior motive that somebody else has already decided to block because sometimes the very thing that you're offering is exactly what they're looking for but they don't think they want it and so you got to sneak up on them you got to sneak up on them with your joyful being you've got to let them know what you know you're offering a whole lot more to them than you could ever define through that one labor you're offering to them tuned inness you're offering to them joyous life experience you're offering to them an example of someone who knows how the universe works you're offering to them everything that they're looking for all wrapped up in this cooperative component you see and so if they knew what you know they'd be flocking to you but since they don't then you can't care and if you stop trying to overcome what they don't know by seeking their mutuality by answering all of their objectives which just makes them dig in harder and object more and instead you just live happily ever after and radiate who you are and the law of attraction knows which one of them are ready for you then maybe action isn't out of the equation but effort is mm. now <clears throat> there was this, this idea of thinking about just life and as you flow through it through the ebb and flow you know wanting to take every morsel this concept of this morsel and find ways just to feel good every moment and I, I believe I'm starting to understand that you are but here's a little distinction you're not looking for a morsel in order to feel better you're feeling better so the morsels keep coming we'll tell you what we mean so Esther's on an airplane 
flying somewhere and she's in first class on this particular flight she flies whatever the direct route is and chooses first class if there's no direct route so she was on a Delta flight and she was satisfied <laughs> so she's sitting in the front cabin and she's liking it and she's enjoying the comfort of her seat and now the flight's underway and she's reclined her seat and it's a nice recline and but she puts her sunglasses on and her earphones in and she thinks I'm so satisfied and then she thinks mm, maybe I would like my blanket so she unwraps the blanket that Delta gave her and puts the blanket up around her and she's got a way she can just sit in that seat and get her legs stretched out and her shoulders just in the right place and her neck pillow ah oh her blessed neck pillow and she was just so satisfied and she barely closed her eyes and the flight attendant came to her and tapped her softly on the shoulder and he said I've warmed this bottle of water for you I thought you might like it and just for a moment Esther thought do I look old and feeble <laughs> and then she thought no I am so satisfied and we say in her satisfaction everyone in the vicinity got caught up in the drift of her satisfaction and were literally looking for more ways that they could make her more satisfied a very cooperative component got drawn in to the satisfaction that Esther had going on you see that's how it works it's not being dissatisfied and looking for the solution it's being in the solution of satisfaction and then the solution showing itself to you in broader and broader and broader and broader ways have you ever had anybody put a bottle of water in the microwave and give it to you because it might be more comfortable to you <laughs> Esther thought wow that's a first and I like it I like it I like seeing how cooperative this universe can become to the satisfaction that I desire and deserve and deserve and deserve and deserve and deserve you got to know you deserve it if you've got a belief that you don't deserve it doesn't matter how much you want it you'll block it you'll block it with your guilt and I've been really working on not beating myself up as much as maybe in the past when I have dissatisfying thoughts like so you know. let's talk about something here let's talk about the distinction so let's say maybe you've been beating yourself up on some subjects and you've decided that doesn't feel good and you're not going to do it so you find the relief of giving that up focus for a moment on relief if you're depressed it feels like relief to find revenge if you feel revenge it feels like relief to only be angry so there's all kinds of relief on the dark side of the emotional scale as you're moving up so feel what relief feels like relief is letting go of some resistance so feel the concept feel the emotion of relief and now feel the distinction between relief and satisfaction because in relief there is still some resistance in satisfaction there is none and now you're in the non-resistant side of the moon now with non-resistance in tune with your inner being oh boy now the leverage starts coming the clarity starts coming the rendezvous start coming in other words your power becomes obvious you begin to feel who you really are we like it when you stop beating up on yourself so much but we are really eager about that being so done that it's not even something that you're talking about you don't even have to remember when you used to do it because in satisfaction none of that resistance is present we're fine-tuning here but you're hearing every piece of it I just wanted to say I was so confident that you were gonna call me up here and this is really surreal yeah. there you go.